Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> All right, so this has been super requested, and I think it's because we watched a cover. Yeah, I didn't know it was a cover. Lag Ja Gale, which is Sanam actually originally did the cover. yeah, is originally sung by Lata Mangesh, Jesh, Mangeshkar, I think. Man, man has, Mangeshkar. I think so. Let us know how you pronounce that. Sometimes we do a decent job, sometimes we truly don't. And I think most of the time we don't. To be I don't think but we she, ever do. She is uh, known as like the Nightingale It's yeah uh, of of India. And she was, you know, very popular. It's obviously, she still is very popular, but in we know this, nothing about In this it. particular performance, she was 70 years old. Oh, nice. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a lot of people there. Oh, I thought that was like a string instrument. That's her voice. <laughs> what? Wow, she's so up here. You notice that entry, that's fucking clean, dude. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> you know what I'm noticing? In the, in the, we obviously now find... What a beautiful woman, take a moment for that. We, wow. we found out the lyrics. I will double check just in case the lyrics uh, may it's have some same. discrepancies. They it's might the same exactly song. Same. Okay. Yeah, it's the same song. So we did check out the lyrics in the previous video. Um, That's what made Sanam so so uh, popular iconic. with this cover because they stuck to, to the original. original like glue. Well, they only just changed the genre itself. So like they they made it a bit more, more alternative. Yeah, a bit more uh, singer songwriter approach that rather than a, a more Indian classical Traditional, musical, yeah, more orthodox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to say it was awesome to see like uh, that. It, it was uh, like a, what would you call it? Yeah, a, a tri uh, not a trivia, but like a, a cover that really stuck mm -hmm. through to this. I was just gonna mention, you know, that sound of the trakan, tukun, 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 yeah. the tablas, obviously. Yeah. Um, that's what it reminds me of the intro of Dune. Ooh. So I think in they the might score, have done. Yeah. Hans Zimmer might have utilized some uh, uh, now percussion got from. From, from India, India. Yeah. I think actually now that we've been listening to more uh, Indian music, uh, uh, classical stuff uh, from India, I've I've realized that in Dune a lot a lot of influences are is, are very very um, vocally vocally focused in the whole rag aspect of things, and given that it's like desert, like I don't know, maybe the influences so come that's, from there. So that's that's the big question. With that movie, because it's so desertic, mm -hmm. you, you it could question be Persian music too. Exactly, yeah. you, you question where the true uh, influences are coming mm -hmm. from. But knowing Hans Zimmer, and he's um, that's what happens when you sort of tell him, do whatever you want, mm -hmm. you know, like do you can do whatever create you want, create whatever you want. So, to create. knowing him, I mean, I don't know him personally, but knowing but some knowing of his, his work, creation, yeah. you can kind of tell that he does like taking sounds from all over the world, how he, how he should be, anyways. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> She's so charming, that woman. Wow, but the holy work of holy, she's got like a whole army of musicians. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, but that was so clean. What the? Whoa. <laughs> they used to make us do those instruments in, in primary school in Venezuela. Like, you know, for similar, yeah. Christmas, 
for Christmas coming up, like the season, they would make you do a lot of like arts and crafts in school when you were like in primary school. And that was one of the instruments that we used to do with the uh, caps of the bo uh, uh, bottles. What are they called? The chapas. Um, they yeah. are cool. They're sort of like the lids of, but they're, like they're made beer. Up. You know, like in beer bottles, the the caps that are like uh, metal, like met, like. What do you call those? Aluminum type of. They're yeah, aluminium. Really, yeah. Yeah, and then if we had to flatten them out and like put them in a stick, and, and then make... they would make that instrument. And I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was a real instrument. I thought it was something <laughs> they would make us do. <laughs> oh, no, for real. Oh, that's so cool, yeah. man. Uh, listen, just got some really crazy vocals. Yeah. Uh, the note accuracy and the jumps between one thing and the other are so freaking accurate and they're so clean. There's not an edge of grabbing. There's not an edge of like doubt. There's nothing. And she's reading off the lyrics, even though this is her song, but... Obviously, the sense of comfort in that woman is incredible. Yeah. But it, it really is like, wow, how regardless can anyone of, be that comfortable? Since regardless of the magnitude of the stage yeah. and the amount of musicians and responsibility that comes with, she's very at The ease. amount of people watching, it's ridiculous. Didn't you see the, the opening? Yeah, like, well, that was absolutely mad. Never mind. I just think it's, uh, it's pretty impressive, man. Mm -hmm. It's pretty impressive, that is. Crazy. <laughs> Like how? So how is she clean. doing that? And there's also literally no, no note before that. Like it's like an absolute nothingness of the band coming yeah. from the musical instrumentalization of the song. There's like an absolute gap, right? So that's your vote. That's your cue. Okay, nice. But where off? Where? Where am I stepping off? Like usually you pick up your starting note from somewhere in the musical arrangement. Yeah. Maybe the sound is not doing it justice and I'm not actually picking up all the details. But, like, her starting notes is nowhere to be found. It's like no effort exerted, she's just... No, Judge, she's just... Bravo! Oh my goodness! It's interesting, isn't it, how... Bravo! Yeah, she's... That's so cool, man! She's just able to exert that... Uh, uh, what would you call it? Insanely effortlessly. Yeah, that, that amount of energy, so effortlessly, and, and it's so, well, could be could come from her effortlessness, the clean... Uh, mm, no. Cl was it cleanliness? Cleanliness? Yeah, I guess that's what it would be. I suppose. But, yeah, I, I don't know, there's certainly lots of ease. I, I mean, obviously, experience plays a part. She's been doing this for a reasonable amount of time. Um, but I think her whole life, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that, that's very impressive when you see someone of that magnitude and of that mastery sort of just perform and do what they do best. Yeah. Um, it would be really interesting for someone like that too. And it I'm really sure... does come with ease, doesn't it? Uh, like, that's the part that is really like... Uh, it's, it's creating a huge question in my head. How does it come with such relaxation? Like, an absolute complete serenity man that's... i was i was just gonna say um it's interesting it would be really interesting for someone like that I mean, i'm sure she has like um to listen to her speak on her approach mm -hmm. to singing uh, as she evolved throughout the years um to get to sort of that point where, where Absolutely. you know it'd be really interesting to see her approaches to that um because yeah you don't get to that level of of, of settlement in the art itself without Just I don't know, so, a change in perspective yeah, as you yeah. grow and stuff like that and man that's kind of like you you want to be able to perform at that stage at that, in that at that level with that amount of ease that's Absolutely. very hard to do so and it's it, and it's not only the ease but the the connection with the piece itself yeah. like she's really aligned with the 
the accompaniment and there's a ginormous orchestra with her uh so but she's really attuned with it and yet untouched by it at the same time but but like she's aware of it you know like she's aware that there are other people also providing performance but therefore she has to there's a responsibility aspect to it too but listen listen i I just got questions yeah I, i just got questions and it's it's incredible. Let us know if you like us to check out more of her work. Um, maybe in the early years of her career or anything else that you'd like us to check out next. I will happily go in deeper into this law because this is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>